Oh my goodness. Wow. It's like a little paradise. Looks like you're able to open it. Oh my gosh. What is going on guys, it's Brennan Jay, and today I have a really cool video planned for you guys. Today I'm going to be taking the jet ski and a whole bunch of other gear that I'll explain in a little bit down to a hidden spring in Florida. We're going to be diving down and doing some metal detecting and see what we can find at the bottom of this place. So this is probably the craziest I've ever set up my jet ski. I have my GPS, my GoPro, I've got my basket. Under there I actually have a scuba tank, a metal detector, and obviously I have this giant paddle board. I think the most exciting thing about today's video is I've never dove this spring before so I really have no clue what to expect however I did see that you're unable to get to the spring with a motorized vehicle that's why I had the giant paddleboard strapped to the back of this thing also really quick before we get on the water I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support when it comes to my merch I really appreciate it and you guys have been absolutely blowing up the site between the hats and surprisingly the swimming trunks right here you guys have been going crazy so I just want to say thank you guys so much if you guys want any more gear which I'm gonna have new stuff rolling out all the time you want to be the first to see it click the link in the description below go to jiggingwithjordan.com and get yourself some jigging merch so when you buy any of my merch you're fueling my adventures to go out there get all the trash that's under the water like I'm gonna do in today's video and put it in the trash can where it belongs so I just want to say quickly thank you guys so much for all your support it's been unbelievable you guys have been blowing me away um, let's go ahead and hop on Blue Bay see what we can find today's video all right guys well it's time for the adventure to begin We've got the most absurd amount of gear back here. It's ridiculous. Hopefully that doesn't fall off, but we're going to make our way to the first spot. What's up, guys? We got a huge fan all the way from Nevada. Oh, from Nevada. Whoa, you guys watch the videos? That's awesome, man. Oh, man, that's awesome. What's up, man? Nice to meet you, bro. You want to grab a picture real quick? Yeah. Dude, I watch your videos all the time. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right guys, so we just made it to the spot we're gonna be diving at and there are a ton of boats just all gathered around here. Like I said earlier, they can't actually get into the spring because there's no motorized vessels allowed. We're gonna go ahead and get parked in there, get the paddle board unhooked and uh, see if we can explore this place. So awesome. Am I gonna fit? Oh, oh. <sighs> made it. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's like a little paradise. All right guys, so we just made it to the main springs here on the paddle board and this place is absolutely beautiful, man. I found two separate spring openings. There's one on this side and one on the other side. And uh, I've explored the top of the water with a paddle board. Unbelievable, man, so, so beautiful. But now that we've explored the top side, I'm gonna take my big underwater camera, hop underwater and show you just how beautiful this place really is. So we just hopped out of the water with the big camera and it was absolutely beautiful. That was my first time ever swimming in that spring. I saw a ton of people diving down in the big springs. They had GoPros, they had goggles, fins. I even saw a few people on kayaks with their phones with waterproof cases. So there's no telling what we could potentially find on this dive down. With that being said, right now we're gonna hop in the same place where we just dove with the big camera and we're gonna see if anybody's lost anything under the sand. <laughs>
All right guys, so we're getting a little bit of luck, but uh, next we're gonna search this main canal right here. This is the main in and out entrance that all the people travel through on their kayaks, paddle boards, and even just swim through. So right now we're gonna search this whole area really good, um, but I have a good feeling about this. This is gonna be one of the main trafficked areas. So hopefully we find something good here. Awesome, awesome. All right, wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna need it. It's nice seeing you guys. All right, so I've searched a few areas so far. There's a ton of people out here today. However, right now I'm on one of the big main springs. This is like one of the main openings. So I'm gonna hop down here with the metal detector, see if I can find anything in this area over here. All right guys, so I just hopped out of the water and I am so freaking excited. I've been searching for hours. I've been covering so much water, covering so many different spots. Not only did I find one banger, I found two. We've got two really, really nice rings right here. I'm not sure what the symbols on these are, but these are freaking amazing. I'm gonna show you one at a time. All right, so this was the first ring I found right here, and it does have some like little silver markings on the inside, but I'm not sure if this is the correct way or it's this way, but does anybody know what this actual uh, symbol is right here? This first one's really, really cool, but I have no clue what this symbol is. So if you guys know, comment down below or leave your best guess. Uh, I'm really interested to see what you guys think and if you guys know what this symbol is, because. Uh, I'm sure something like this means something. It's pretty intricate. I also have this ring right here. I'm not sure if the jewel on this is real or not. This ring has like a uh, little, looks like you're able to open it. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh, it's a little locket. Oh, that is cool. What the heck? So it turns out the ring that has like the little ruby on it is actually a locket as well. There's nothing inside of it, at least it doesn't look like there is, but I've never seen anything like this before. So this could be pretty rare. I'm not really sure. If you guys know anything about this, let me know in the comment section below. Obviously when I get home, and I'm gonna do a little bit of more research on this. So future Brandon Jay here real quick. I um, actually came home, did some research on the ring, found out 
It is actually called a poison ring, and I want to read you a little bit about it because it's really interesting. Uh, it says, a poison ring or pillbox ring is a type of ring with a container under the bezel or inside of the bezel itself, which could be used to hold poison or another substance. Basically, long story short, they become popular in Europe in about the 16th century. It also says, rings like this have been used throughout history to carry perfume, locks of hair, devotional relics, messages, and other keepsakes. Honestly, never heard of anything like this before until I've actually researched this, so it was very cool if you guys knew about this if you knew it was a locket ring or a pillbox ring or a poison ring let me know in the comment section below also it's kind of weird because when i opened this there was nothing in it so maybe like if it did have poison it dissolved or something i don't know kind of crazy just want to give you guys an update back to the video um but this is super super cool i've never seen anything like this it's pretty rare to find any rings or anything like that it's always like a big find as a treasure hunter but to find something unique like this that has a locket that's really, really cool. Both of these rings are awesome, man. This is such a freaking win for today. All right, guys, so that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for today's video. I am back on the jet ski. We got the paddleboard, all the scuba gear and metal detector stuff, but I'm still really blown away that we were able to find those rings in the spring today while metal detecting. Found a bunch of bottle caps and a bunch of coins as well, but uh, the bangers of the day have to be the two rings. Like I said previously, if you guys know anything about those rings, what that symbol was or anything about the locket, let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, what up, what up? <laughs> hey. And if you want to be able to support me on all of my adventures behind YouTube, make sure to go to jigamajordan.com. Get some of my merch there. I've got hats, swim trunks, uh, bracelets. I got so much different stuff there, and there's new stuff coming every other day. So make sure you guys click the link in the description below. Any dollar you spend at jigamajordan.com not only goes to helping me fuel these adventures, but essentially goes into helping me dive into the water, get all the pollution out, and throwing it in the trash where it belongs. So I really would appreciate if you guys go down to jigamajordan.com, linked in the description below, and get you guys some jigging merch. <laughs> all right guys well if you like today's video and you want to see more like it make sure to drop a big thumbs up i really will appreciate it also if you like what i do on my channel make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on my next adventure if you are subscribed make sure you hit those post notifications so you'll get notified whenever i find some crazy beautiful spot just like i did today with that being said that is going to wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll catch you guys on the next adventure peace out You guys lose anything yet? <laughs> All right, will someone please drop their phone in the water? <laughs> All right, thanks for watching the videos, guys. Wish me luck. <laughs>